In this video, we are going to crochet this cute little dragonfly called the Dennis. To make this dragonfly, you will need some cotton yarn. I'm using a cotton yarn called Karma from Crunk Soul Wool. A crochet hook. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. A pair of scissors. A darning needle to wave in the ends with. And some stuffing. You also need to know how to crochet a magic circle, single crochets, increases and decreases. The pattern is found inside the Amigurumi calendar of 2023 and we are in June now. So this is the June pattern. The calendar is available in my web shop over on garnknuten.com both in physical and in digital form. So go and check that out. I have left the link in the bio. Let's start by making the body of our dragonfly. And for that, you'll need white and yellow color yarn. But we are starting off with the yellow one. Start off with making a magic circle with six single crochets. And I always make two chains and in the second chain from the hook, I make six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five and six like this. On the second round we are going to make six increases. So one increase in each stitch all the way around until you have 12 stitches. So one increase, two, and four more. On round number three, we are going to crochet 12 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now it is time to change color to white because the body is striped. So we will be making two rounds of yellow, two rounds of white until we have one, two, three, four, five white stripes in total. So let's back up the previous stitch and pull through the white yarn. And now continue making two rounds in white with one single crochet in each stitch. So this is how it looks like after two stripes. So we have two rounds of white and two rounds of yellow and we will continue with the stripes making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around uh, until we have one, two, three, four, five white stripes. 
if you are crocheting at the same time you're watching this video pause here and come back when you have made all the white stripes so this is how the body should look like after making one two three four five white stripes and yellow stripes in between with two rounds of single crochets so now it's time to change the color again to yellow you can cut off the yarn the white one because we will not need that one anymore tuck it inside like this and now we have arrived at round 22 and we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch so 12 single crochets in total Good. On the next round, which is round 23, we are going to crochet two single crochets, one decrease, and repeat that three times until we have nine stitches. So one, two, and then a decrease. I do those invisible decreases where you just pick up the front loops of the stitch and then one two and eight decrease and one more time On the last round, we are finally there. We are going to crochet one single crochet and one decrease. Repeat that three times until we have six stitches. So one single crochet. And a decrease and repeat that two more times like so cut your yarn you don't have to save that much because we're just going to wave it in anyways so let's wave in the yarn end and then we will continue with the first wing. And to close the hole, I pick up the front loop stitches with my needle. And then we just pull it tight and we get this pretty ending. We get this pretty and neat finish.
like this. Now we have the dragonfly body ready and we are going to jump on and make the first big wing. For the big wing, you will need a pink yarn or any other color. If you would like to make your dragonfly in another color scheme, that is totally up to you. But I'm going to go with pink. And we will start off with a magic circle with six single crochet. On the second round, we are going to crochet six increases. So one increase in each stitch all the way around until we have 12 stitches. We are going to crochet one single crochet, one increase, repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. So one, an increase, and repeat this five more times. Like so. On the next two rounds, we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch. So 18 stitches all the way around. If you are crocheting while watching this video, I have recommend you to pause now and come back to me after those two rounds. This is how your piece should look like after two rounds of only single crochets, one in each stitch. On the next round, which is round number six, we are going to crochet seven single crochets, one decrease, repeat that two times until we have 16 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and a decrease. I'll repeat this one more time. Ooh, I went too far. Okay. On the next two rounds, we are going to crochet 16 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for two rounds. Come back to me when you have done that and we will continue. On the next round, we are going to crochet six single crochets. One decrease, repeat that two times until we have 14 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and a decrease and repeat this 
one more time. On the next two rounds, we are going to crochet 14 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Come back with me when you have done that and we will continue. On the next round, which is now around 12, we are going to crochet five single crochets, one decrease, repeat that two times until we have 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a decrease, whoops, and repeat it one more time. Like this. Now it's time for two rounds again, uh, this time with 12 single crochets, so one single crochet in each stitch for two rounds. Okay, this is how our wing is looking right now. We have three rounds left. On the next round we are going to crochet four single crochets, one decrease, repeat that two times until we have 10 stitches left. So one, two, three, and four, and a decrease. I'll repeat that one more time. On the next round we are going to crochet 10 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, now it's time to close the hole. Uh, I like to make a chain because it's a little bit easier and then we squeeze together the top and pick up the first pair of stitches and go straight through and make a single crochet. We are gonna close this hole with five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five, like this. Now our first wing is done. Let's cut off the yarn. You will need some for the assembling. So save maybe 30 centimeter or so. And let's wave in the beginning, yarn, end. just have to make a second big wing.
is uh, the second wing so now we have two big wings and it is time to make two smaller ones these ones the smaller wings are also made in the same color as the big one for me it's pink for you it might be something else let's start with a magic circle with six single crochets One, two, three, four, five, and six. On the second round, we are going to crochet six increases. So one increase in each stitch until we have 12 stitches. three rounds we are going to crochet 12 single crochets so one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for three rounds come back to me when you have done that and we will continue this is how it looks like after the three rounds with one single crochet in each stitch on the next round which is round number six we are going to crochet four single crochets one decrease repeat that two times until we have 10 stitches so one two three four and a decrease one two, three, and four, and a decrease. On the next three rounds again, we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch, which is 10 single crochets. So yeah, come back with me after you have done that. On the next round, we are going to crochet three single crochets, one decrease, repeat that two times until we have eight stitches. So one, two, three, and a decrease. And then one, two, and a decrease. On the next two rounds, we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch, which means eight single crochets per round for two rounds. like this now it's time to close the hole on this tiny little wing and i like to make a chain first because i feel it's easier when you close up something this way and then we pair up the stitches and go through the front row stitches and the back row stitches and make four single crochets in total and this makes it so much easier to assemble than having all of the stitches on the previous round to attach to the body now we just have four stitches to focus on sewing 
Let's cut off the yarn, but save some for the assembling. And wave in the yarn tail from the beginning. Let's close the magic circle. And wave in the yarn end. Voila, our first small wing. Now we just have to make a second one. Okay, here is the second small wing. So, so far we have, oh, <laughs> so far we have two small wings, two big ones, and a body. And the last thing we are going to crochet is the eyes. So let's make them, and then we are ready for assembly. The eyes are crocheted with white yarn and you need a little bit of black yarn as well for the, for the tiny little dot. Start off with a magic circle with six single crochets. So one, two, And then one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six. So in the pattern, uh, there is instructions for making a second round. So if you want an even bigger eye for your dragonfly, you can do so. But in this case, I am going to leave it as this because I liked it when it was a little bit smaller. So cut off the yarn and let's end the round with a invisible stitch. So go into the first stitch underneath both the front loop and the back loop, pull through and go back inside in between the front loops and the back loops of the previous stitch like this. And we have an invisible and perfectly round eye. Uh, this yarn we need for assembling, but the white one you can wave in. And then take a little bit of back yarn. Put it on, attach it to your needle and then go through the middle of the magic circle, pull through and then just pick a stitch and go through that stitch and then back up in the middle again and through the stitch. And there we have the eye and I'm just tying these two yarns and at the back like this and then just cut them off. 
they will be hidden behind the eye when we attach it to the head. Okay, now we need to make a second one so that we have two, one for each side of the head. Okay, now we have all the parts we need and we are ready for assembling. So everything is going to be attached to the main body. I uh, would recommend to maybe attach the bigger parts first. So the big wings, let's start with them. And the most important thing here is to try and get the color changes uh, that you can see here. This is the row of color changes on the downside, <laughs> on the, underneath the body. So we are going to touch, attach the wings uh, above them. And pretty, like dragonflies have their wings pretty like close to the head and then they have a long tail. So we are going to attach them pretty near to our magic circle that we did in the beginning of the body. And it is always helpful to pin them in place with a pin needle like this. Let's do the other one as well. And then we start sewing. Mm, I think I will sew it first because otherwise the other wing will be uh, in the way. Come on. So I did a stitch in the body and then I go through the wing, one of the stitches, and then I go underneath a row and the stitch like this and pull and again take a stitch from the wing and go down in the same hole as I came up through the body just one row further ahead if that makes sense like this Now our first wing is attached and this makes the stitches almost invisible. So within the yarn and then we do the same with the other one but on the opposite side or next to it actually. If you feel like it's a little bit loose in the beginning, you can always add a couple of more stitches. I think that is good. Yay! The first wing is attached. Let's do the second one. And I will put them really next to each other.
have two big wings. Now it's time for the smaller ones. We are going to attach them close to the big ones, as close as possible. Okay, last wing. <laughs> they are very floppy, but that is just fine. It's time to attach the eye and especially here use pins if you can and you can uh, decide in what angle you want to attach the eye in depending on what angle you use it might get a little bit uh, it might look like it has different emotions so this looks a little bit angry in my point, so I'm trying to point the black dot more uh, down instead of like in a angle like this. And I just sew through the head a bit and then up through one stitch of the eye and down in the next. Go through the body again and then up in the eye and down the first I look like attached I try to be very careful to get this these yarn ends uh, to be hidden behind the 
I can be a little bit tricky, but with a needle, it is much easier. Now I'm too lazy to <laughs> wave in the yarns and so I'm just tying these two together and then I'm going to poke them through the body and that will make them as secure as I need them to be depending on what you're going to do with your dragonfly you may want to wave in them properly for example if you have a kid that is going to play with your dragonfly <laughs> And this is how our final Dennis the dragonfly looks like. He is so cute and so adorable. Let me know down in the comments what you are going to do with your dragonfly. Are you going to have him as a cute decor decoration? Are you saving him for Christmas to hang in your Christmas tree as an ornament or Maybe you are making him into a keychain and putting him on your bag. Let me know down below in the comments. I'd also love to know what kind of tutorials you want me to make in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.